Welcome back to our video series. In the previous episode, we looked into Genpai's 3D visualization capabilities, leveraging PyVista to create interactive 3D plots of our geological model. In this video, we will complete our model by incorporating topography. Our model already looks great, but Genpai interpolates layers within its complete extent. For your application, however, you might want to either create a geological map or cross sections with real terrain features displayed. Topography information is vital for this purpose. Topography information can be added to your model in three different ways. First, you can load a digital elevation model as a TIFF file using gp.setTopography from file. Alternatively, you can pass a NumPy array with the x, y and z coordinates of your topography using gp.setTopography from array. In our case, since this is a purely synthetic example and we don't have actual topography data, we will use the third option, generating a random topography. Especially in these synthetic examples or in the context of education, this is an attractive option. Here the dz argument defines the range of possible z coordinates. Fractional dimension controls the roughness of the terrain and topography resolution determines the resolution of the topography grid. Just as we created our custom cross-section in video 5, adding a topography introduces a new grid to our Genpy model. As a result, we need to recompute the model solution. Once the computation is complete, we can use the 2D visualization feature to plot a cross-section. By setting the show topography argument to true, the model will be displayed with topography. Additionally, a geological map can be visualized just like custom cross-sections by passing topography as the name of the custom section. For further processing, we suggest looking into Rasterio to export the map as georeferenced TIFF, or use GIS software like QGIS directly to create attractive complex maps. To add a bit more of complexity in here, Hillshade is activated by default in the plot2d function, but can be deactivated. Finally, we can also view the complete model with added topography in 3D Viewer by enabling the show topography option. And that's it for the first part of our Genpy tutorial video series. Let us recap what we learned. We went over the required input data format. Then we continued by defining and adding input data in form of surface points and orientations. We structured our elements into groups and ordered them by age. After computing a model solution, we went through visualization options in 2D and 3D and finalized the model by adding topography information. We hope you found this first tutorial series helpful. If so, leave a like on this video or maybe even stop by GitHub and grant Jampai a star rating. Are there any topics you would like us to cover? Make sure to leave a comment. By subscribing, you make sure to miss no informative Jampai videos in the future.